most uh, meaningful parts of who I am. You know, being a one of six children to, to an immigrant family, first generation American, was uh, was phenomenal from the standpoint of watching the toil and turmoil of somebody paving a path to give better to the, the generation beyond them. Having loving parents who were uneducated but uh, uh, really prioritize the idea of furtherment and academic prowess and achievement uh, were always kind of the uh, the missions in our family. Um, so it was a nothing but a memorable experience growing up in that household in Metro Detroit. You know, never would have thought I'd end up in New York City at, a, uh, at an academic institution doing pediatric brain tumor work. I got involved in the field of neuro-oncology somewhat serendipitously um, as a resident at NYU, um, you know, observing some of the glorious work of Dr. Fred Epstein and Jeff Wissoff treating children with brain tumors became inspirational to me. And so as a resident going into neurosurgery, um, you know, parlaying into pediatric neurosurgery and then neuro-oncology, it was just based on watching those around me that were really uh, leaders in their field in the, in the realm of treating children with brain tumors. You can never do this in isolation. The number of uh, hats that I wear and the roles that I uh, take care of on a daily basis at the administrative level and leadership level um, you know, are all secondary to my primary mission, and that's to take care of kids and, and nurture the families of the kids I take care of. You know, that's the primary calling, that's the reason I'm where I am. I think the most challenging part of, of my profession is, is that interface of trying to give back to not just the child but the parent. Um, the, not just the idea but the reality that their child will be normal and have all the things that that child should have in front of them as they go from year, year forward. So I've been in this career of mine post-training for 25 years and you can't prepare for giving and presenting, delivering bad news, bad outcomes. Um, it's hard not to break down. It will always, always be something that is difficult, gut-wrenching. Um, I think that the only way I prepare for it, if there's any way to prepare for it, is to know in your heart and in your soul that you've done everything within your capacity to do something the way it should be done. And as a resident, getting exposed to the camaraderie and the joint effort of the Children with Brain Tumor Foundation and the interplay of a lot of talented clinicians in radiation oncology and pathology and neurosurgery uh, was revolutionary to me to see that there was a enterprise not just built upon the clinicians but a foundation who brought these individuals together and recognized the joint effort of this and something that has to be symbiotic uh, was indelible to me. It's a shame that the equivalent of the Children's Brain Tumor Foundation doesn't exist in every disease process that we work in on the clinical side. It's an amazingly valuable resource for the parents.